Hello everyone, it's Adetje of Green Master and welcome to part 4 of Let's Build That House in the Sim 3 Season 2 here on the Sims Resource. So in the previous 3 parts we've built this, uh, what you see over here so far and it should look like this house which you also see on your screen at the moment. Um, and yeah, from this point of view I quite like the look of the house because it looks pretty accurate but if you look from it like from the top kind of like this then it doesn't really look that nice yet so we will have to add some cool windows to make the house look a little bit better and also the gardening will um, be important in making this house look a little bit better because so far I quite like it but it's not perfect yet so we will have to work hard to get that um, yeah to get this house perfect and I'll do my best of course to get it so far so as you can see this was indeed the point of view that looks best and uh, I saw in one of the pictures that um, there needed to be a window over here and I know that there's a window which fits like perfectly for this place. It's like one of the bar house windows and it's this one actually and I think it's very accurate for this house. So I've decided to place it over here just some seconds ago. Also I'll make a fence. Um, where is it? Um, I think over here, yes, I think we can add that one and then we can maybe place that around the house a bit like this because it seems like there's something like that over there in the real house too. Maybe we can use something that's a bit more modern maybe um, because yeah of course this house is quite modern, very modern actually so you also need kind of a modern fence then. Though I can of course try to actually use um, or actually change the color of the fence we had before and make it the color of the rest of the house, kind of the wooden color we have. Um, so let's first just delete this whoa, and then place it again and then we can um, yeah, change the color. This will take some time because I've just started up my game um, but that doesn't really matter because then I can actually look what I'll do with the rest of the house because actually that's not on the pictures of the house so I'll see. I think here I'll add many windows because yeah that's like a cool um, interior area I think if you have many windows. Um, and also let me see, yeah over here we can add something like that. And here we can add some windows. I have to say that making windows or, or actually rebuilding houses from uh, real life houses is uh, way more difficult than just using your uh, creativity and uh, just building a house. Because maybe you've seen some of my uh, personal houses uh, before and now you see this and you're like what happened to you because this doesn't really look that good yet well that's basically because i decided to go for a challenge with this house and i wanted um yeah just to build something that was a little bit more difficult to build and i succeeded in that and maybe a little bit too good because it is indeed a very difficult house to build um so i hope you still enjoy watching this series um, and if you think this house looks shitty then maybe check out uh, the previous series that I did here on this channel um, Because I've actually this is as you, I said before the second uh, season of this series So I've done a previous one and uh, maybe you like to watch that one too um, As I said it's on this channel and I think that it's actually a little bit better than um, what this house looks like But of course we'll, I will do my best to make this house look as uh, good as possible. Also on my own channel here on YouTube I actually uh, make a house building videos and let's builds and stuff too. So um, if you wonder what I can also build then you can check that out. Um, I don't know if there will be a link in the description. The people behind the channel because that's not me will um, yeah, work on that I guess. Um, so whoop, as you can see I'm just adding some wall paintings over here. Yep, yeah, that makes the house look a little bit better already. It's just, yeah, that's good, I think. It starts to look, yeah, much better. Then I can actually change the color of this, yeah, roof tile, and I'll change it by adding this pattern over there because that will also make it look a little bit more modern again, and that will be good for this house. 
Um, and of course we will have to do the gardening for this house, which I think we can um, make maybe quite a, a detailed garden to make the house look a, a little bit better. Um, so I'll try to do that, but first we have to finish the uh, exterior of the house itself, of course. Um, so yes, my game is done, yep. Then I can place this, there we go. Yep, that's a lot better. Uh, and then also actually I can use this and make that over here just to make it look a little bit more detailed and use this style on uh, several parts of the house actually um, there we go yeah that's pretty good I think and we will have to use some black windows over there because that's kind of the look of this house with uh, the darker windows around it um, and I think I'll place many of them over here don't think we need a door over here you don't need a door everywhere while we've got windows of course um, then we can also place this um, let me see and we can add this one because of course that one belongs to it and then if we change the colors, it will turn out nicely. Yep, there we go. And, whoops. I'm trying to use some shortcuts actually to make the building a little bit faster, but I don't know all of them by heart actually. Some I know. Um, there we go. Does that look good? That looks pretty nice. Um, and then I think I'll have to delete this because yeah I can't change those upper windows black as you've probably seen in the previous part and if I can't change the colors of those then it's going to be very hard to actually make it look like the uh, real house so I think I'll actually use this window it's also a low window as you can see and I hope I can place it through each other because that would be perfect uh, then we need to use the cheat, move objects, and there we go. Yes, that's it. Maybe I can even, would be, that be to, wait, this is actually pretty epic. If this would work, then, to, yes, it works, perfect. Look, that's better, because this, the windows in this house just have to be black to look like the house itself. Um, so yeah, then we do that. Um, also, I'll use these windows over here. There we go. And I'll put one of them next to it, actually. Yep. Now we really start to get a shape in this house. And I actually start to like the look of this house. Then I can also change or add these colors over here. Because as you can see, this is still the wrong color. So if we make that brown, it will be better. Or wood, actually. I'll have to do it again because it didn't select everything. Yep, there we go. And now the other side. Thank you. Yep. Oops, holy shit, that was... That is because I'm actually holding down shift and if you then scroll in and out then it can zoom in very fast for some reason. Look, there we go. I hope it will change the color of this too. And then um, we have just made the house look a little bit be be better, bigger, better I mean again. Does it change this color? I have no idea, we will see until the interface appears again because for some reason the interface disappears for now and then because of create a style um, that has to load also I think I'll actually change the colors of these pillars or at least play some others maybe because these aren't very good I think because they are not white and they have to be white so I will change the colors of those um, but first we have to get our interface back um, Oh yes, I think it will load now. Yes, there we go. That would be perfect. Thank you. 
And let's see, maybe I can actually use some special pillars. Let me see. Yes, I will use these ones. Um, place them. Of course, I have to delete the other ones. Don't worry. I already hear some people thinking, what are you doing? Why are you leaving those pillars there? Don't worry. We delete that. That. There we go. Um, here we go. So actually, I wonder, do you enjoy this series so far? I hope you do. And uh, when The Sims 4 comes out, I'll of course be doing Sims 4 series here on this channel. I'll be doing a let's build uh, a The Sims 4 house actually, or let's build that uh, house in The Sims 4. I think that will be the series. Um, so we will rebuild houses from real life in The Sims 4 just like we do in this series. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy watching it if you did or well. I hope you're still enjoying watching it because we're not done yet. But um, yeah, if you did, please leave a thumbs up down below and also a comment. Because then we know over here that you enjoy the series. Also, if you have any tips, then just leave them there. Um, because then maybe we can, or, or at least I can use them for my next video. So that would be nice. Um, if you have anything you would like me to change or something. Uh, let's see, what does this look like? Is this any good? Yep, it's better again, but we do have to delete that one. Yep, that would be best, I think. And then actually, I can also place one over here and one over here. There we go. That's much better. Then we can actually add some windows over here. And also we will have to add a door. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, mm, let me think. How shall I place this? I think I will use this big window. And also two of these small ones I said to yep there we go um, and then for this we can actually use this one this kind of fits with these uh, windows nicely especially if I change the color of course because right now it doesn't look like it at all um, there we go also the interior let's see I think we can make quite some nice um, yeah, interior in here. I wonder how long it will take because we still have to do the garden of course before we start with the interior. But I think um, we can succeed to make quite a nice garden and quite a nice interior over there. So let's actually change these colors as you can see. I'm going to use this. For some reason I just feel like this fits the house better or at least I just didn't really like those stones we had previously and I think this is better for this house. So we'll use that. Um, oops, not too far. Um, in a nice green grass of Hidden Springs, because that's actually the world that we're building in. If you wonder what it looks like and you think this is not Sunset Valley, well, that's true because this is a Hidden Springs, a world that you can buy in the Sim Free store. Um, and a nice world, actually. Not my favorite, actually. My favorite world from the Sim Free store must be, yeah, I think Sunlit Tides. I really think that's an amazing world, so. If you are looking for a tropical world, then you should go for that. If you are looking for more of a, um, well, you know, hilly and more of a, a bush. Well, how do you say it? Like a kind of a forest world. Then you should go for a, this a Hidden Springs world, which is also very nice, by the way. Um, so, yeah. By the way, this is what we see over here so far. 
Yep. Because I decided to also change the path to the house over here. Yep, there we go. I think that looks much better again. I do actually think that this looks very shitty, but that's because the sim crew just can't change the colors very well over there with those things. So I'll have to make it a little bit darker to get it more like the color we want. For some reason, it just doesn't work that well, unfortunately, but well, it's not the biggest problem we've got. So as long as it changes, which it doesn't yet, because now it still looks kind of like yellow. We don't need that. Um, let's see what should we do next. Um, we've got the windows there. I think I'll still have to add some windows over there. Oh, yep. I think they tried to change the color. Not that good, but better at least. Um, at least it's something. Also for this thing inside there, this very small, um, yeah, structure, which we don't actually see very well. We also have to change that color. Because you kind of see it um, if you've got good eyes. Um, oh wait, here we also have to change something. Because here we still have the white windows. And we not, don't need those. So um, let me see. I'll place this because on the pictures I saw that it worked like this out there. Delete that. Oops. Whoop. There we go. Yep. Should I also actually then I should also place that over there, right? And you know we won't use this floor anyway, so it doesn't really matter that there are windows out there. Should I use black or white? Black is better, I think, for that thing. Um, then we can actually add some more windows over here. Um, let me select the other one. Select. Um, there we go. Yep, we've got the windows added to the house right now, uh, which turned out to look pretty nice, I think. Let me see. Yeah, but I think we kind of fixed the house. I'm not really sure about this thing, so I think I'll make it totally white, just to make sure that it doesn't screw up the house in any way, because we just want to be good looking, of course, so white will make it better. And then... Um, I think I'll actually make this little carport thing over here. And then maybe we can already make a start with the garden, not sure. And then we still have to do the interior. I think for this carport, I s well, actually in the real house, it is not a carport. But for this house in the Sim 3, I think it's nice to add a carport over here. So we will just do that. Um... Because in the real house, I don't really know what it was. It kind of seemed like a barbecue house or something. Or shouldn't we add a carport anyways? I think at least I will have to change some things over there. Because it doesn't look very good at all. Um... Because if I add these windows, well, my windows, I mean walls, over here. And we lower those with constraint for elevation, which I still have to put on. Floor elevation false. There we go. And then we put on this. And then we do like this. There we go. Then we have to add something like this in there. Well, 
I hope this is enough. Yep, it is. Then we delete that stuff. This might seem like magic to some of you, but it's not. Believe me. Um, yep, there we go. There we go. And then we do this. What does that look like? Does it look any good? Mm, well, maybe if we add this in there, it will actually make the house look a little bit better. I think it will if we do it like this. So, if I now add a platform like this one, and we just give it a little bit of a better shape, so at least some more shape. Um, okay, we're doing something wrong here. There we go, that's better. And then, I think in the middle maybe. We could do something like this. Then I'll make it black. And like gray or something. Or should I just make it black too? Make it black and then also the inside will be black. Come on, what is this? Seriously. Sim Freeze, sometimes you're stupid as shit. Why can't I select any color in this thing? Well, I believe it will change its color anyways if we just continue working and open the game next time. So, I won't irritate me myself too much on that. Yeah, but that's good, I think. I hope. Um, then... You know, to make it look a little bit, well, less like a cardboard and less impressive, kind of, because it's, of course, a very big building, maybe. I'll add this wall over there, because that's where the barbecue stuff will be behind. And we don't need much more space for this. Um, so then I'll actually add this pattern in there, this terrain paint. And then actually... Here I should delete it and then add it on the place I deleted it. And then we can make a cool path to this thing, I hope, by doing like, whoops, would that work? Yep, but we can at least try. So, crap, I'll make this. Holy shit, this is a long driveway actually. Something like that we could try at least. Um, and then this under. There we go. Will that look nice? We will see in three. Two, one, that looks pretty good, I think, if I'm honest. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. So then I'll add a palm tree and then this is the end of this fourth part of let's build that house in the sim tree. So actually I'll just add this palm tree over here. Is that actually, yeah, that is actually the palm tree that belongs to this house. So I think I'll place it over there. Also leave this small one because small ones are pretty, uh, yeah, you don't get small uh, trees over there very often. So we have to save those. Yeah, something like that could work. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching this uh, fourth part of Let's Build It House, as I said, and I hope to see you back in part five. So bye.